He is an art teacher at Watertown High School. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, as an art educator, um, how have you had to adapt during the pandemic to reach students? It's been fun and interesting. Uh, we've pushed the limits of technology. The first hurdle is making sure that any student that's at home has access to materials because we have been making art in all the classes uh, and trying to stay as close to a normal curriculum as possible. Obviously in like glass and metals and things like that, there's a bit more adapting. I'm lucky because painting and drawing is pretty easy to sneak into your kitchen or bedroom or whatever at home. Uh, another fun thing is I've been borrowing Miss Pennington's document camera for, I don't know, what, six months now? <laughs> Uh, so thanks to her, that's very crucial to be able to show people at home what's happening. Uh, but we've had to get creative sometimes working on multiple screens and multiple computers and joining my own Zoom in order to have audio or having video or having multiple video streams. So it's, it's been interesting, but I feel like it's worked. You know, people have still made some really uh, beautiful and meaningful works of art. So, so what are some of the struggles of teaching art online? Uh, yeah, I suppose just figuring out what they're seeing and hearing and making sure that they're getting everything that I'm trying to present to them. The other difficulty is uh, with blended and asynchronous. There's days where students aren't necessarily in the class but want to reach out and get help and advice. And trying to sort of type suggestions or questions can be very cumbersome as opposed to just having a conversation with somebody because so much of art is usually just kind of hanging out and talking about what's happening. And it's a lot easier to just throw somebody a book of artists that they should look at or to point at something and say, what if this was up here, you know, versus trying to explain that in an email. <laughs> so it's sort of the outside of class times where people are still seeking help that have been the biggest challenges. So in your own personal artwork, how has the pandemic like either challenged or inspired you? Yes, well, I tend to work from the human figure primarily. Um, and so there hasn't been any life drawing sessions to attend and I haven't been working with any models. So it's been an interesting opportunity for me to really look back um, at sort of the back catalog of ideas that I never got around to before. <laughs> so the piece that I was showing you before that I put in a show during the pandemic I think that reference was shot when I had a studio in Madison back in 2012. <laughs> so, I, and I painted it in 2020. So it's been interesting to kind of go back and, and pick up on all the things I sort of once wanted to do, but just never got around to. So for me, it's been more about digging up the past than it has been about reacting to the pandemic in the moment. Um, so I suppose that is a form of reaction, isn't it? To go back to a... a safer, happier time. <laughs> I, I don't know. Regressing into my, I won't say youth because I wasn't even young in 2012, but uh, <laughs> you know, an earlier time, I'll put it that way.